Hello, happy Friday. I am about to treat myself. It is 10.45 a.m. and I have been prepping since 8 a.m. because I did a very silly thing and I decided to treat seven plates at a time. <laughs> so, <gasps> look, okay. That over there in those Eppendorf tubes are all the treatments that I prepared and that took me literally like two, three hours because each treatment had like a different dilution series. Basically for my nanoparticles, I'm trying to figure out like what concentration kills half of the cancer cells. That's like the IC50 curve and like I did it once and like not all of them were obviously like in the right range. So this curve over here, for example, looks pretty good and this is what I'm trying to get at for like all my other treatments. Treatments. I'm trying to get this nice kill curve where like there are like points above and below like the 50% level So so yeah, like that's the explanation. Wish me luck I am going to do this now and I'm quite nervous as how this will turn out because if it doesn't work out again Then I have to repeat it. Honestly, I should just expect at this point that I should repeat everything at least like 12 times So I'm gonna grab my cells and I'm gonna treat them and then I'm gonna leave them over the weekend to incubate for 72 two hours and then we'll come back and check on Monday to see if we got the kill curve so let, let's go ahead and and freaking treat these cancer cells Yay, they're all treated. Oh, seven stacks. I kid you not, that took four hours. Four hours for me to make my dilutions and treat seven plates worth of cancer cells. I had things planned for today, but I honestly have no energy anymore. Like not only did it take four hours to like freaking make the dilutions and treat the cells today it took like four hours yesterday maybe more than four hours yesterday to like go over all my data from previous experiments and finalize the experimental plan for today <laughs> i just have no more energy i think i'm gonna go grab a coffee and see if i can get some energy to continue with the rest of my day otherwise i might just call it a day and like do my time point at two o'clock for my drug release experiment and check back in on my Monday and see if it worked. Good morning. It is Monday morning. I'm about to treat my cells with the XTT dye. So I'm very nervous. This is going to be the first part of the experiment. So I'm going to treat it with the dye and then let it incubate for another four hours and then run the plates with a plate reader to measure the absorbance. And then I will see if my experiment works. So I made the XCT dye in media and they're in solution already. And I'm just waiting for them to warm up a little bit more before I treat my cells. I don't know why my voice is cracking, but <clears throat> just like a quick look at my cells so far, it, it does seem like my concentrations are in like an okay range so like i do see like a gradual self death compared to last time where it just like alive 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 and then dead <laughs> so at least that's good news but i'm not sure what the data will show very nervous and very excited at the same time okay i think that's about enough time to warm up yeah they feel quite warm okay let's go All right, these cells are all treated. Let's put them into the incubator. Oh, yeah, I need to put this down for my other hand. <laughs> so I already treated those cells here, those four plates there, and these are the remaining three. Oh yeah. Check back in four-ish hours. All right, it's been four hours. It is now 4 p.m. and I'm starting to read my seven plates now. All right, I have all my data here. Let's go analyze it. Hello, just got back to my office. I just plugged in my USB stick and transferred all the data. I'm about to get started on analyzing this. 
Oh, just looking at the values as I was reading the absorbance I could tell that like because I've done this so so much that I could kind of have like a sense of like what kind of curves I'm gonna get from this data the goal of this experiment this time was just to improve my IC50 curves but because it looked too like too jagged I could already tell that some of the curves are not great but I think some of them improved so my prediction is that this is not a hundred percent success that's fine I'm just mentally preparing myself so my prediction is I might not be so happy after I analyze this data but I'll check back in regardless give me a few minutes I'm gonna plot this stuff okay. <laughs> yay okay so I think it's not as bad as I thought Basically, the whole point of this repeating this experiment is just to get a nicer IC50 curve so that I can like more precisely identify at what concentration my nanoparticles kill cancer cells because I have six different nanoparticles. I wasn't exactly sure which concentrations to start with, so I just did like a very broad range of concentrations and then I had a better idea of like what concentration range that to, to, to kind of like zoom into so I think I'm happy with this my eyeballs hurt I'm satisfied though I think I'm satisfied because just roughly like just roughly looking at these plots I can definitely like combine it with like previous experiments to give like a more whole picture like a, a more like complete picture so I'm definitely going to spend some time tomorrow to like really hone in and like plot my data and stuff so I'm very excited for that but yay I think yay like I'm so scared that I'm like speaking too soon nothing is really finalized until I get the boss's approval so I'm not gonna like jinx it yet for now for a Monday this is really good <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go back down and finish the rest of my experiment. Hopefully that won't take too long. I am pooped. I'm ready to go home and this headache is starting to form. Yeah, I hope I can just sleep really soon. Anyways, thank you for following along on this journey. <laughs> Trying to get this IC50 curve. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.